that? Yes. Well, my word is sort of kind of similar to that. Yeah. Um, and it's when the situation gets tough, what your praise should look like. All right. So it's similar to that. Um, and for scripture, I'm going to go to Isaiah 41 and 10. All right. I'm going to read from the NIV version, though. And when you have it, say um, amen. Give me a second. Yes, sir. <laughs> um, the topic is when the situation gets tough, what your praise should look like. All right. Amen. Come on, talk about praise. <laughs> so the scripture says, so do not fear, for I am with you. Do not be dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you and help you. I will uphold you with righteous, with my righteous right hand. And as I was writing this scripture and just listening to the Spirit of the Lord, he brought me to, of course, the story of Job. When, you know, um, Satan tempted Job. Does God allow him to? But even though the enemy did all he could to Job, Job still had a praise. Even when... You know, they tried to, you know, do when he when they tried to get him to curse God, he still had to praise him. So today I just want to encourage my brothers and my sisters today that yes, the Bible says that we will suffer, but we will also reign with God. Yes. Um, you know, when you go through things in your life, when you go through trials and tribulations in your life, you know, your your, your first thought should be to praise God. It may not look, it may not feel like you want it to feel, but we have to understand that we're going to go through some things. We're going to, you know, trip up some time. And, you know, one thing about me, you know, I learned to always be in a mood of praise and worship. One thing about me, I love to praise and worship God even when I don't feel like it. So I just want to encourage you today to worship and praise the Lord even in the bad times. Philippians 4 and 6 and 7, the NIV says, do not be anxious for anything. Right, but right. in every situation, by prayer and, and petition, with thanksgiving, Presented your request to God, and the peace of God, which um, transpasses all understanding, will guide your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. Romans 15 and 13, the right. NIV verse says, May the God of hope fill you with all joy, with all peace. Some of us need some joy, some of us need some peace in our lives, some of us have been operating off of the wrong peace and off of the wrong joy. That's why we're so depressed and why we're not happy in our lives, but we have the peace. And the joy of the Father, we have everything that we need. And it continues to say that you trust in Him. Do you trust in God? Or are you just saying you trust in Him? Do you really trust in God? And it continues to say so that you may over, overflow with hope by the power of the Holy Spirit. How many of y'all need the power of the Holy Spirit? You gotta have the power of the Holy Spirit to go throughout the day. Because if we don't have the power of the Holy Spirit, we're going to be drained, we're going to be tired, yeah. we're going to be able to move, none of that stuff. So my, thing, my, my main thing as I go to my seat, that I want to encourage all of you, because some of you may be going through stuff that we don't know. Always, I want to tell you that it was never meant to break, but it was meant to build you up, to be the person he has called you to be. To take you to the next level. It was never meant to destroy you, it was never meant to cool you, but the question to be working in your faith. That we don't understand to get us to the next level in Him. Yes. So I want to encourage you today to don't give up, yes. to don't go in the towel, but to trust in God. Yes. Lean on God. Depend on God. Because He loves you. Yes. He will always love you. He would never change His mind. And that's one thing I love about God. He would never change His mind about you. Yes. So I always know that it is never meant to destroy you, but to hurt you. But, but to, to lift you up to, to the next phase, the next dimension, the next place. And God, I remember when I came, I'll make this real quick. I remember when I came here, I was a runner. As soon as service was over, I was ready to go out the door. But as I began to continue to be up under my leaders, I began to grow. I began to grow in prayer. I began to grow in my worship. I'm not suicidal. I don't have depression. Because I continue to trust in the Lord. God is even being the same as me. There's so many things that could have killed me, but I'm still here. And I'm here for somebody else. And you are here for somebody else. You are here for somebody else. Your struggle is for somebody else don't have to go through something. Your struggle is for someone else don't have to fall and step up. Your struggle is to keep someone else lifted up. So as I go to my seat, I'm not going to leave.
about me now. I just want to let you know that it was never meant to destroy you, but it was meant to take you to the next level. Because remember, when our pastors go up, we go up. When they go to a new dimension, we go to a new dimension. We don't serve a God that keeps us on one because he takes us up. So as they're going up, Brother Carlos, you're going up. Brother Thomas, you're going up. We're all 